it's been running for a number of years now. Um, it's in association with the Royal Horticultural Society and it's, uh, it's to involve the community as much as possible uh, and to highlight the horticultural achievements for schools, for universities, for towns, for villages, a whole cross section. Um, and hundreds of people across the country apply each year to, to be part of it. York, York St John uh, won a gold this year once again and uh, not only that we, we achieved uh, best in category uh, which was a fantastic achievement for the, the hard working team that we have here, a dedicated team of horticulturalists. Standards have to be very very high, um, we're a traditional way in, in the way that we maintain the gardens, um, it's all down to the planting, the, the schemes, how, how the colours work throughout, it's colour throughout the year, it's interest. It's the, for the wildlife in particular. Uh, we've got a member of the team, William, who was very dedicated to providing bits and pieces for, for birds and such, and particular hedgehogs. It's not just the gardens as such, the flowers and the shrubs and trees. It's also the wildlife that we encourage into the, into the site. Usually we get to the, the bottom of the comments um, where, where we could aspire more. Uh, and this year, for the first time ever, they've actually put that uh, we, they couldn't provide any recommendations um, because we're, we're achieving it all, as it were. So that's a real accolade for, for the team. It gives me great pride and, and satisfaction. Um, I love working at St John's and uh, it's, a real, uh, it's, it's a real achievement for, for all of us. So I'm, I'm very proud to be part of it. And it's important to have the outdoor spaces because so often today, um, students, particularly young ones, that they tend to spend a lot of time indoors and if there's an, an attractive space outside to come and sit, that's got to be a positive, positive aspect.